A news crew from ABC's Good Morning America came to Texas Tech's Institute of Environmental and Human Health with a very important question. Is there oil and other chemicals in seafood coming out of the Gulf of Mexico? Dr. Ron Kendall, the director of the institute, agreed to help the news crew find out. The opportunity to work with Good Morning America and to communicate to America an independent science-based approach to is there oil in seafood or not, I think was something our institute at, at Texas Tech welcomed. Over the course of the next few days, an ABC News crew stationed in Louisiana began sending seafood they caught off the Gulf to Texas Tech. Then scientists here began thoroughly processing those samples. We went through a process of, of extraction and analysis. Uh, we did it independently and our conclusion with the samples that we received, small sample, a uh, couple of locations, so in that snapshot of time um, we did not find contamination in those samples. And we were able to, to look at parts per billion levels, in other words very low detection, and we were able to find out that we could not detect polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons which were the critical ones because some of these can be carcinogens like benzoapyrene. We were really looking hard for PAHs so to speak and of the select PAHs we were looking for we could not detect it which indicated to, to us it wasn't there within the detection limits of our technology which was the gold standard of the industry. We in addition looked for total petroleum hydrocarbons found no evidence of that either so from the samples we received this past week from Good Morning America uh, collected off the coast of Louisiana, they were not contaminated with oil. Despite the scientists finding positive results on these samples, Dr. Kendall cautions that no widespread conclusions should be made. Does it mean that all seafood does not have oil residues? No. That sample that we got didn't. And people need to understand that uh, various bays can differ as to the ecology and the currents and so on. Uh, so one bay may be safe and another bay may not. We don't know. That's why sampling must be robust, thorough, and, and, and continuous as we move through this continuing unfolding event with the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. For Texas Tech University, I'm Scott Earlbeck.